this is another planter combination that we have here on the porch, which are just different combination color combinations of the same flower. So if you look at the purple one, here you see verbena, which I absolutely love because of its dual colors. It changes colors as the blossoms mature and then slowly die off. And then mixed in is a million bell, a purple million bell, which again does not need to be deadheaded. Um, the verbena does need to be deadheaded. And I'd like to show you, it's a, it was a little bit confusing to me at first. This is a spent blossom. This one right here is not a spent blossom. They actually look very similar. So in order to keep this verbena blooming again, we need to get rid of the seed pods or not let it go to seed. And so you do need to go around and actually deadhead these, which works just giving them a little pinch between your first finger and your thumb. This is a planter. I don't know if you can see that I put the pot into an existing pot urn here and that works well. This is a very small pot and so um, the smaller the pot the more frequently you need to be watering it otherwise it dries out. So this one drives me crazy because I have to keep it watered all the time. This also is a small pot. I just planted, I put some coconut or coir um, in here and I lined it with a black plastic trash bag with holes in it so that it would drain and then planted again verbena in here and there was a large red million bell or petunia and these little million bells are just coming back the petunia has died sadly from lack of care and these are the little million bells that are coming back so that's kind of a nice color combination and again here are the spent buds that i need to keep deadheading and there are a lot of them but it's worth it it's a very pretty combination